Hey guys, happy Friday. We're so glad you're here for the Faith for Today podcast. We've had a great week talking about how to deal with change or how to overcome crisis or even stress because all those things kind of come together when we're dealing with change where things are our perspective or things that our routine has been, up, you know, has been had to be updated, things that we do on a normal basis or we started a new job or, or started a new school or even kids going to school. All those things affect us. And so we have to really understand how is our thinking? What is our, what is our spirit man saying? What's, how are we dealing with it emotionally? And so we've been, we've been talking about that all week and we've been using that as a scripture. Romans 12, 2, it says, don't uh, don't copy the behavior and customs of this world, but let God transform you into a new person by changing the way you think. Then you will learn to know God's will for you, what is good, pleasing, and perfect. And so we've been giving these 10 steps. And so one, we said uh, on Monday, realize crisis is normal to life. Two, we said follow the Lord's pattern, which simply means to forgive. Then we also talked about admit that God uh, is our source. We said don't panic. Don't panic. Number five, we says, admit that God is sovereign. You know, he has sovereignty. We got to trust that process. Number six, we said, don't limit him either. You know, although he's sovereign, don't limit him. Then we said on yesterday, humble yourself to obey God and then trust God to uh, vindicate us. So number nine, as we wrap it up today, is communicate. We got to make sure we're communicating. Uh, Proverbs 19 says, listen to counsel, receive instruction that you may be wise in your latter uh, days. Don't stop communicating either with people or don't stop communicating with God. So many times people isolate themselves when they're going through a situation, they're going through a stressful time, they, they stop communicating with people, and many times that's an indicator they have stopped communicating with God. So don't isolate yourself. Loneliness and isolation will only pervert your thinking. Seek godly counsel. Some people are so tense, they find it hard to hear from God in crisis, and, and some have never learned to hear from God. And so godly counsel is the one of the ways God can what? Speak to us. So good, good advice is not the same as godly counsel. Everyone does not need to know the negatives of your situation. Remember, knowledge brings responsibility. Does that person have the spiritual know-how to deal with all that you're sharing with him? Because knowledge brings responsibility. You don't want your children to be responsible for the knowledge of what you're going through. So what are we saying? Build up your faith. Through how? Through prayer, spending time in the Word, getting godly counsel, Pray, I talked about that earlier, good, solid, word-based praise and worship music, and then speak positively over your encounter, over your life, about your situation. Why? Because faith builds on the positive, fear builds on the negative. So we got to make sure we're communicating, we're communicating properly. And last one, act on principle. Act on principle. What do we mean by that? Well, let's look at the scripture. But seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added to you. Therefore, do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about its own things. Sufficient for the day is its own trouble. What are we saying? Get your guidance from the principles of truth, not from the reaction to the feelings of the moment. So what are we saying? Act in faith. Number two, God begins all healing with his word. Spiritual, you know, marital, physical, financial, any and all healing starts with the word of God. God will give you a word or words, but it's our responsibility to act on what his word says. Romans chapter 9 or in Romans chapter 3 says this, For what if someone did not believe? Will their belief make the faithfulness of God without effect? Certainly not. Let God be true and let every man be a liar as it is written that you may be justified in your words, that you may overcome when you are, not, when you are judged. What are we saying? Ephesians 5 says this, give thanks always for all things to God and the Father in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. So look, God can't lie. 
You know, he's not like people. God can't lie, but he also needs you. He needs me. He needs us to be thankful. He needs us to be grateful. And let me give you these last two quotes. Don't be moved by what you see. Only be moved by what you believe. As Sean Bach would say back in the day, you don't have any problems. All you need is faith in God. That's R.W. Sean Bach there. So we love you guys. God bless you all. We love you so much. We want nothing but God's best for you. Let's enjoy this Friday. Let's have an awesome, great, supernatural, blessed weekend. And we'll be back right here on Monday morning for the Faith for Today podcast.